What up, Laker Nation? You're here with your boy Kareem, aka Hundred Likes. How you guys doing? Wow. Let's get to it. Let's get to it. Um, last night, the Lakers embarrassing loss, man. Embarrassing loss. We talked about that last night with um, when I went live last night. Very embarrassing loss, man. But um, the Lakers, Lakers trade, man. Lakers got a clean house. They got to do what Cleveland did a few years back when they cleaned house. They made they had like seven, eight new players, like eight new players, and um, and by the trade deadline, and that's what the Lakers need to do at this point. It's not no uh, one person, sorry, but Russ, Russ had to go. I don't know if they'd be able to uh, make a move for Russ, but um, Russ is a dominant personality and. He, he, he's not changing, and it is what it is. It's not to blame Russ. Anthony Davis is a big factor in blame, but we all know that's LeBron boy, so he, is, he ain't going nowhere. He 28 years old. Uh, he reached his limit already. I don't see him um, be getting better. I don't see him having any more dominant years, I believe. Uh, in order to be a dominant player, mentally you got to be tough, and he's not tough mentally, so... Um, uh, he would have good numbers, but that, that'd be about it. Um, LeBron stays. Um, I like the fact that LeBron, uh, he comes in shape, he's dedicated. He really wants to win, so he also helps in the uh, process of us getting new players each and every year. So um, LeBron James definitely stays. Uh, Anthony Davis stays by default because of LeBron. And... Um, he stays by the fort because of LeBron and um, Melo stays because I do believe that Melo uh, can win. If we go seven, I think he have a major impact two out the seven games. And off the bench, I think that'd be good. Malik Monk stays. We need at least a young one young player that needs to stay on his team. Uh, Trevor Reason uh, maybe because. Just because. Um, you need some type of limp on the wings. So we might have to keep Trevor Reese, but everyone else, a goal. Even we have to get rid get a lot of minimum contracts, get rid of some of these guys and minimum deals. It's gonna be hard. It's hard to swap out minimum for minimum. But like I've been saying from the gate, you get younger players, you you give your chance a team a better chance where they get it and they, they, they reach a, a higher level. When you get these older guys, these guys set in, they not getting any better. If anything, they're gonna get uh, worse and they declining. All the guys, I ain't gonna go through a, a long video about who declining, but every player on the Lakers pretty much de declined. Like far as every veteran play we have, they game decline. So um, everybody, so uh, even if you, bring up, like I said, the Lakers have to change their mindset and stop thinking, oh, LeBron James, we could just get anybody and, and fill him around and he could bring us home. That's the mistake the Lakers made. Last year, they should have seen that when the Anthony Davis went out and we couldn't get a win against the Phoenix Suns. We couldn't get a win. So that goes to show LeBron James at this point in his career is a good player, a good player, but he don't have the, he's not that guy could just dominate and bring us home to a win. Don't look at, oh, he had 39 points. I don't care on the field goal percentage. It's still not good enough where he could get us a win before he can do that. He could have did it with 32 points, 30 points, and, and was able enough at key moments to get us a win. So we need, uh, and he's doing his part. He's 37 years old. It is what it is. He at fault cannot blame him at all. He doing his part. He giving us more things you can ask for. To me, he giving he doing great. I have no issues with him. I I just know what it is when it comes to him for us. Um, what can he do actually for this team? And that's why I said the team for a long time. I said you need younger players, but he don't believe in younger players because he he. He, I don't know whatever reason why he don't believe young players. And I said, what's up, bro? Chill. He, he, he don't um, believe in young players. He believe in old veteran guys. And um, 
right now, that, that's not helping him right now. You can see a guy like Stanley Johnson, the little difference he made. Imagine a guy like Stanley Johnson with totally with LeBron putting his arms around him with total confidence and say, listen here, man, you could get better at this, that, and the third. I need you here, and LeBron trusts him. He'd, he'd go over the wall for LeBron. These guys looked up to LeBron. They they fight for LeBron. They go over the wall for LeBron. So um, I'm telling you. <coughs> <coughs> That's it. That's what that's what LeBron need. Um, but got to get younger guys who who potentially could get better, and that's what the Lakers need right now. We had a bunch of young guys who who didn't reach their potential. That that would I'm telling you, it'd be a big difference if you paired them with Bron, AD, Melo, and um, it'd be much better. Look how Malik Monk playing. He's he's doing his part. We just need some guys to have some confidence. The team has some confidence in them. And real quick before I end this video. Oh, man. Real quick before I end this video, right? People who saying, oh, THT, um, his, con I mean, not his confidence. His trade value, his trade value been lowered. Let me tell you something. Them guys, general managers, like I said, the difference between white people and black people Black people, for the most part, is what you can do for me now. White people think long term. They didn't. They don't look at him as in, oh, he's done. Oh, he was fool's gold. They look at him. He showed already what can he do. His stress is he could get to the basket. He got ball handling skills. He could make plays at times. He could play multiple positions. That didn't change for them. It's just that he just need his game to define some, to get a little more defined, more settled, and that's what it is. Nobody, don't think that for one minute that they look at him like, oh, he's 21 years old, oh no, his his trade value, no, he's down. What they may try to do, get you for a cheaper price. But don't think that uh, general managers think that it's over for him, that he's not that good or this not a third. They probably never looked at him as an all-star. I never looked at him as an all-star, but I still think he's a good player. He just needs some confidence and needs to settle down. And sometimes, the Lakers sometimes, with the young guys, we all see when they go to other places, they get to build their confidence and build their game because the Lakers is like media, uh, you have the media success with these guys. So let me end this joint. It's too long. Like, subscribe, peace.